Uh, this is going to be a little bit about my grow space that I'm overwintering, as you can see outside. That's Boston. Go Red Sox. Uh, that's clearly fall. It's November 7th. And uh, that's my patio. This is where I am uh, wintering at the moment. A little papyrus there. I uh, stuck a shelf in here, wrapped it, and uh, I am uh, growing under two uh, pair or a pair of four foot by four bulb T5 high outputs, 6500K uh, bulbs, and uh, my humidifier, which I'll show you in a little bit. Some fan circulation. Pretty good stuff in here. Uh, let's see. It's about, what does it say? Seven, 68 degrees, 85% humidity. Uh, not bad. Some Talansias, some Neophanetias. We got a Kaisis back there. This uh, this little Ancium Twinkle is about to explode. Uh, got my new Hulkoglossum back there. Uh, several cats, some stuff along the back wall. A little Poldy back there that I chop chopped. Uh, uh, some hybrids, some more Neos. Uh, some carnivorous Nepenthes in the back there, hiding my. Uh, Gastrochylus, some sarcos, some little babies sitting on a heat mat there. Yeah. Oh, let's see what else we got. Oh, we got buds. We got buds. My old phalaenopsis, dendrobium phalaenopsis. These guys are in their dry winter rest. I got some uh, Drosera capensis var alba with uh, some stuff under the shelf, some stuff on top. Got some uh, Falbastiani eyes up front, a little Noid with a cakey on it. Uh, another cat hybrid. Yeah, my pings. Making flowers, making flowers. All covered up by my Noid Zygopetalum, which I don't know how it's still alive. It hates me. I didn't realize that you can't get that much water on the leaves. I killed two original new growth pseudobulbs right off the bat, but it's powering through. Uh, hanging down. Where are you? Talumnia. Got some more little. We got a, a guy down there in Spike. I believe that's my Questress Var Alba. Uh, I got a new Marie there. It's another Questress. Over here. Uh, another Tracera. Cool little dendrobium I picked up last weekend at the orchid show. It's got some flowers on it, more coming. Uh, I think my Vanda Cerulea is putting out new roots. I don't know if you can see that. It's got some new roots in the front too, so I'll show those off because there's light. Oh. And I got more stuff hanging. Probably can't see it. Um, this is a, uh, what are you, Orangis Latola uh, Alba Varodistica. It's got like three, uh, three spikes on it. There's one, there's one in bud, or one, one blue. <coughs> kind of like a symphony elf in blue. Got lots more spikes coming up in the back. Uh, band is along the back wall. Good stuff. Ooh, it's hot in here.
Oh, we got some noise sitting down around everywhere. Some more babies in the back. I split in on City and Sherry Baby earlier this week uh, after it finished blooming. And it turned into five Sherry Babies. So they're all over. Yeah, what else is back there? It's a uh, Velosum. More babies. Lots and lots of Neos. And different stuff. Some are, you can see, in the traditional Japanese style. Some are in lava rock and bark. Some are in baskets, buckets. Some are mounted. Actually, that is. Um, Ascofinidia Cherry Blossom Carmella is that, that one mounted back there. Anyway, here's the uh, about to explode Oncidium Twinkle. It has a lot of spikes. Uh, but yeah, it's my city growing space. I may need to turn the uh, humidity down. It's a bit high. 86 now. Okay. And that is my city living orchid and uh, carnivorous plant growing space. Thanks for watching.